my time at Louisiana Tech was great. I was here from uh, 1993 to 1997. I changed majors multiple times and ultimately settled um, on human resources management in the College of Business. And I just, I, it was a typical college experience, but it was a great college experience. You know, I graduated from Louisiana Tech, uh, moved away, I, you know, certainly using my degree in human resources, moved away and life happened, got married, had kids, um, had grown up in South Louisiana. My husband and I have settled in the Houston area. And so not really having any other ties to North Louisiana, we really didn't have any reason to ever come here. Never really made it here for football games or anything like that. And so life happened and I remembered fondly my time at Louisiana Tech. We would occasionally hit the Houston alumni crawfish boil, but that was kind of about it. And then my son started looking at colleges as a junior in high school and started asking questions about Louisiana Tech. And we came here for Legacy Day, which he had a blast at. And it was really the first opportunity that uh, he and my husband and my other kids had a chance to really see the campus and see what it was like here. And then came back later to do an official tour for the College of Engineering. And he, he has fallen in love with the school, but it has also caused me to fall back in love with the school. I love the fact that my son is going to school here. And I love that he's getting a similar experience to what I received. The world has changed a lot in the 20 something years since I've graduated. It's certainly changed a lot in the past few years with COVID. And for him to come here and be able to spread his wings and start his adult life, but still be in a smaller environment with people that care about him, that that has meant the world to me. It, it, it enables me to be able to sleep at night knowing that my son is in a place where he's knowing his professors and they're knowing him by name, um, that he's he's developed a good group of friends with common interests and values and morals to help kind of guide him through some of these issues, um, knowing he's in a place that, where, that it's safe and that safety is valued here. One of his first experiences here, and he loved it, he was here this summer for the front program and they had to do a scavenger hunt throughout campus. And his group was the only one that was able to find Dr. Geis's office. And his office had been relocated due to some um, renovation that was going on. But they were able to find Dr. Geis's office. Dr. Geis was actually in the office and started talking to them about great places to go and skateboard and, and do other things. And so for him to be able to have that experience with the president of the university, where he's willing to just sit down with this group of kids and just talk about normal things with them, has been amazing. And then the town of Ruston as a whole and the way Ruston just really envelops the community. You know, one of the one of the things that happens at orientation is you've got the mayor's dinner. And, you know, my understanding is that the mayor hands out his phone, his business card with his phone number to everyone. And we didn't get to attend the dinner with the mayor. He, he actually wasn't able, the mayor wasn't able to attend that dinner this year, but my husband and I were at a shop in town and we're talking to this guy and come to find out we're talking to the mayor just chatting away and he's handing us his cell phone number call us if you have any issues if you need anything at all and you just you don't find that in a lot of other places where you have higher officials whether they're government officials or university officials that are willing to to talk and interact with you just as a person um, and especially having a university president that's willing to interact with the kids one-on-one -on -one and talk to them about places to go and do things like skateboard. It's it's nice, but it's fun and it also helps because this isn't just where he's going to school. This is where he's living. This is his life for the next few years. And he's getting to do that with people that care about him. And that that's amazing to me. That really is. That, that speaks a lot for what, he's not just getting an education. He's getting a great education, but he's also getting a great experience in life right now. So we have um, a 16 year old that we're gonna bring here for a visit um, and figure out if this is where he wants to go or not. He likes it, he likes the school um, so far. He just recently hung up a Louisiana Tech pennant in his bedroom. And so we're hoping 
that, you know, we kind of turn this into a family school. Whether or not that'll happen remains to be seen, but we're certainly, we're certainly hoping to.